Alright, this, this next installment of my Lunar Magic Tutorials will explain how to use the Overworld Editor. You click on this castle up here after opening up your ROM to open up the Overworld Editor window. Here you can see on the left half of the screen the main Overworld and all the submaps and I really have no clue what that thing on the bottom is. And then on the right you can see some various tiles that will be used. For this purpose, we will make a completely new submap. Just a completely new submap. Actually, I had started editing this earlier. Um, let's see. Let me let me edit it a little back to a little bit the way it was before I started messing around. Okay, so it looks a little different right now, but <coughs> this is the uh, Yoshi Island world. So I'm I'm just gonna completely delete everything there. So we have let's see first let's start out what we have in the overall. We have the layer one 16 by 16 editor mode. This is stuff like castles, level tiles, and some other various things like those little moving clouds. And we're going to delete them all in this Yoshi Island submap. Then you have uh, events, which doesn't appear that there are any here. Nope, guess not. And th those events are for the layer one, like if you want a castle to be destroyed or um, a P switch to be pressed, something like that. And you have layer two, that's basically the ground and um, the details of the land. Delete. And then we should always do when you're editing is hit. Wait, we don't need that right now. And then the events, which we don't need to delete, and then the sprites, which we're not going to delete Mario, but we're not. We can't delete the sprites. The sprites can only be moved in certain submaps and such. Sprites are, are way less um, flexible than they are in the regular Mario game. So first we're going to start off making something very basic. We're going to go to the layer one or layer 2 8x8 editor mode. This edits the ground, like I said. You can also click right here. And then to see this, what the ground is. You you can, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people do this, click here and you see everything in like a certain palette. You can change the palette to like, let's see, I think three or four is the right palette. And then it shows all of the different tiles. But I usually don't do that because it's confusing and I just take stuff from the or default ground and edit from there. So let's see. I'm going to just make a very straight, basic island. Very square island. So I'm going to click there. It's just basically like the level editor. You click on something, you can drag and select multiple things, and then right click to paste it. And you will paste whatever is currently highlighted. Oops. You want to go into Bowser's layer type area. Okay, now, what you can do is, let's see, um, I don't know, I don't I'm going to do it in just a minute. Alright, now I want these only down here facing the other way so it looks right. What you do that, and for any purposes, you can click here and then go to, where is it, up here. You click in here and it'll be right here, selected what you are currently selected down in here. You can flip the X, or flip, flip the Y more hit priority, meaning if Mario walks over it, Mario actually looks like he's walking under it. Apply flip to all tiles, I've never used that at all. And then you can change the palette. So I want it to flip Y, and then down here you can see this is currently selected. I want to delete that, delete that, uh, yeah, problem. It's on, oh, my delete key sucks, that's why. Or maybe it's not. Anyway, so I have this selected, I deleted that, I'm going to flip Y, so now I have this, and then I can paste it which is basically this, only flipped around the Y way. I can do that for this corner, too. Flip Y, delete that, and there. Now, I'll add in a huge amount of ground. Very basic ground. Ground editing is so fun. Oops, I undid a lot of my work. I've done that before. And then the ocean here is a different color than, as you can see, the land, the land's um, background thing. You want to make sure that you change that. And 
actually, I'm not really sure how you change that, because Yoshi's Island is kind of different. It uses, like, a different colored water than everywhere else does. I don't know why it does that, or whose idea that was, but it just does. So let's see if we can't get it working right. We'll try the different palettes, and oh, here we go. That's the right ocean palette, or water palette. So we'll just quickly edit that, and there. Okay, so basically once you have your basic area built, you can start, you probably should start putting down tiles, but since this is the first sub-map, we're going to edit where Mario is going to be at. And Mario can be on any of the sub-maps or overworlds, but we're going to just keep him on this one. So, we're going to move him using the sprite editor up here. You click on the lack of two. I want him right here. I want this smoke right here because I'm going to make this Yoshi's house again. So I can go into the 16x16 16 16 editor mode, and then I can click on here, and let's see, you can find Yoshi's house right here. Yoshi's house. Click on it and paste. You want to move it so it's under Mario. There we go. Now, I also want to add in the pathways. Layer 2, 8 by 8 editor mode. So, since this is already default, I'll make it, I'll use these over here to make it, um, reveal. Let's see, where is the full one? I was having trouble finding this earlier. So I'll just, oh, I can't steal one from over there, can I? I'll just paste four of these corners and it should be just fine. I think. Oh yeah, it's just fine. So I'll use this instead. So then we have that revealed right there. I think it would go like that. And then, let's see, we want a straight piece, so here's a straight piece, I'll select that. And then this is going to go to the next level. Now, we want to place a new level. So we'll do kind of what we did for the Yoshi house. Go to Edit, there, 16 by 16, and then we can go into here. Now, what you should always do when you're editing 16 by 16 is press 5. What this does, it shows you all the pathways that there are, and the types of levels that, that the things are. For instance, the green ones make it look like Mario is on the overworld walking. The blue ones make it look like he's swimming through them. So, we want green pathway to go over this way. And then we want, let's see, I'll hit F5 so I can see these better. We want a level tile that is already revealed, meaning you can already see it. We can see this one, and it is a green one, so we will paste it here. Well, first you have to delete whatever is selected out here. Usually there's nothing selected, but that counts as something. So you want to delete that. Okay, actually, this is going to need to be changed, moved around, because it's slightly off. Perfect, I think. Okay, now we want to make it so Mario will actually go over there when the game starts. So what we're going to do is go here, click here, so this is selected, then go to the yellow dot up here, which is the Modify Level Tile Settings dialog. It's really shiny. And since this is a completely new level that we just pasted out of nowhere, we're going to have to start this from scratch, which is exactly what we're going to want to do for tutorial reasons. And we'll do that in the next video.